What is this? It looks like a room. It's so quiet. So empty. What's this window? It's so weird. Is this a dream? What the? Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? Is someone else there? I'm here. Hey, I'm here too. But where is here? I don't know. You think we were born here? Born here? Damn. I'm a grown ass man. Plus, I can remember my whole life up until now. At least I think so. What's your name? Kibo, what's yours? Solomon. You think someone put us here? No, nah, I don't think so. I mean, if someone put us here, maybe they had a plan. Plan? I tell you who's got a plan. Me, I'm not even trying to do this. I'm trying to do other things. What do you mean? I got plans, man. I got my music. Hell, I might even do a little bit of acting, but I can't do any of that if I'm in here. Have, have you tried to push? I mean, you tried getting out? A little. Then you popped in. Where? Hey, don't do that. Ah! <laughs> you felt that? Yeah, I felt that. Don't do it. Ow! I told you to cut it out. Ow! <laughs> That's kind of cool, yo. Not to me. <clears throat> Ow! See? Okay, I feel you. I'm sorry, man. But that is kind of cool, yo. Look. <sighs> Yo, bro, you got water on your face. It's like being underwater. Who the hell wants to be underwater? I ain't no fish. It's fun. You should try it. I ain't thinking about having it fun, any fun. Not in here. I want to be outside, man. That's crazy. What's so great about outside? What? Man, when you slide through my neighborhood, you see people dancing from the music being played. You see the homies on the block shooting dice or playing cards. You see the old heads coming and going from their shopping. You see happy faces even through the dark time. When you come through my area, you see old brick buildings that have stood for 100 years and fat pigeons eating leftovers that people threw onto the sidewalks. When you come through Fordham, you hear loud Hispanic music that plays all day long and the clanking wheels of the trains that always passes by. When you run through Mops Block, 
You smell rotten food that's been sitting on the sidewalk smelling like a corpse and that raunchy pee smell that's always lingering around outside. <laughs> Damn, yo, you ain't got nothing good to say about outside. What the hell? Where am I? Nah, I was I was just outside. This this gotta be a dream or something, man. You hear that? Yeah, what is that? Hello? Hello? Is there anybody else there? Yeah, we're here. Who is we? I'm Kibo. This is Solomon. I'm Kari. What's up? Hey, Kari. We were just talking about our neighborhoods. Your neighborhoods? Are you kidding me right now? That's what I said. But Kibo seems to like his. Where the hell are we? Where the hell are we right now, guys? We sort of been trying to figure that out. What's your box like? What it's like? It's a box. Yeah, like when you bop into my box, you see a light-skinned man with tattoos, glasses, and a dad hat sitting on a red couch with a smug look on his face. I mean, I can, I can kind of see that, man. I, that's obvious. And when you peek into my box, you hear the sounds of chattering boxes and laughter. When you take a stroller to my box, you stomp your feet to my dope beat. When you drop it to my box, you taste hopefully not a damn thing unless I offer you a bite to eat. When you roll into my box, you touch the couch as you sit down and touch nothing else. I can see you're a real funny guy. When you slide into my box, you see a man with luscious jet black locks and a smile so bright it can light the way for ships to pass by safely at sea. I mean, I see you, but I wouldn't call it luscious. Pause. <laughs> oh, snap. And you, man, you so selfish. I would never come visit you over there. Got you. So what's your box like? I don't know, man. It's just me here. If you used to peek into my box, you would see a tall, dark-skinned, nappy-haired guy with a question-everything attitude. Around this time, you would probably hear his daughter running amok playing with toys, but she's nowhere to be found. I gotta find her. Where are we anyway? How do we get out of here? We were trying to figure that out, but my bro here seems to like his box more than his neighborhood. I didn't say that. Where'd he go? He says he's swimming. Can you believe that? <laughs> Woo. I learned something. From swimming. It's not swimming exactly. I mean, it is, but... When I'm down there, it's like I'm swimming through voices. I hear things. I hear people telling me things. Yo, like mermaids? Send me one up, would you? Man, y'all know there's no such thing as mermaids, right? You guys, we need to try something. When I was under, they told me to try something. Something like what? This. All right. Are you for real right now? We need to do it three times together. What is that supposed to do? I heard a voice say it's a key. A key? A key to what? You mean to get us out of here, right? Man, do I have to tell y'all that there's no such thing as magic? You tell your little girl there's no such thing as Santa? Look, if looking stupid in this box is going to get us out of here, I'm with it. Sorry, Solomon, for calling you damn stupid. Not a dance. It means something. I just don't know what it is exactly yet. All right, all right. Show us the moves. Okay, you put both of your hands in front of your face, then you open them. Then you take your right hand and put it on top of your head while the left is under your head. And then you reverse it while keeping your arms straight. Then you put both of your hands on your ears. And then you cross your arms. You got it? Okay, we're gonna do it three times together. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay. 
I've seen births, deaths, celebrations, mornings, summers, and winters. The years have gone by and I've seen it all. I've heard the laughter of children, the celebrations of crowds. I've witnessed the young turn old and the old turn to new. The streets have changed and so have the people. I think the world is filled with colorful beauties and to truly understand its beauty is a blessing. The people of this world sure do love a good time. There are barely any dull moments and I love every moment of it. What's your name? Kiba, what's yours? Solomon. You know what, Solomon means peace. That's my name, Solomon. Like I, I, I believe I can do Thing like I believe I can do these things like you know what I mean like and some people say oh you gotta have a think of a real job what, what kind of job you want to do and I said I, when I was younger I was like I want to be an actor and like that was an ambition for me and I I that's that's what I want to do and I still want to do it I this is when I feel when I want to go to the military because that's one of my dreams and when I come back I want to take up acting and I want to continue doing it you know it's it's one of my dreams my ambitions. Not only that, I also want to learn, like, I want to learn different languages. I want to, I want to learn, like, martial arts. I want to, I want to, I want to do, like, you know, I want to fly. I want to, I want to actually learn how to fly aircraft. It's, it's just a lot of things I want to do. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I believe I can do it. I got, I got plans, plans man. man. I got, I got my, my music. music. Hell, Hell, I might I even do a little bit of acting, 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 but I can't, I can't do, do any of that if I'm in here. here. My ambition comes from not having food, not having a place to sleep, not not knowing when my next meal was gonna come, not knowing if I was gonna be able to pay my phone bill. It, it came from everything that we didn't have. My ambitions are to be the best person that I can be, first and foremost, uh, as well as you know accomplishing all of my goals, which is to if. God willing um, to be the, an actor or the next, you know, big artist out there, um, or just to be an entrepreneur and go in business for myself and, and, and have some kind of long-term wealth that'll sustain me and my family and we don't have to worry about working. Who is we? I'm Kibo. This, this, this is Solomon. I'm Carl. What's, what's up? up? My chief characteristic is being outspoken. What I appreciate most of my friends is um, just being there at my lowest moments. Um, I, uh, I like attention. I'm in the center. It's almost, it's almost like, like it's all about, about me. me. And it, it, yeah, I mean, for right now it is. I really gotta focus on the things that I'm doing, you know? You know? Make sure I uh, get to where I want to be. Oh, man, this is strange. What is this? Some kind of box? Or a, a mirror? Or like a window? This is so familiar. What is this? Like a memory or a, a dream? Wake up! The world isn't going to wait for you. There is work to be done. Help me. Help us. Hey, hello? Hey, where, where'd you go? Damn, back here again? Yo, Solomon, Kari. Hey, hello? Who's there? Who the hell are you? Charlie, who the hell are you? Kibo, sorry, Charlie, this space is taken. By who? By me. So where is this? It's, it's here. Yo, how can you even claim a space when you don't even know where it is? I was in here with two other cats, and it's our space. Well, nobody was here when I got here, so... That don't mean you could just move in. Yo, what is this? Yo, that was a trip! Yo, yo, were we in the same place? I don't think so. I think we were split up. Where were you guys? I got pushed back here and found this one stinking up the place. Relax, Jesus. You relax. Hi. Hi, I'm Solomon. This is Kari. I'm Charlie. 
Are you done with the introduction? No, you got somewhere better to be, bro? Uh, Charlie? Where were you before here? I don't remember. I remember being 10 years old, living in a basement apartment with my mom. And I had just woken out of a dream. And in that dream, I had dreamt my whole life up until that point. And I told her all about it. And she was so baffled that I had confirmed memories from when I was like two or three years old, where I was. It was like that, like a, like a dream, where it was like a really impossible place. Man, tell me about it. You were in the divide. That's where we were. Hey, yo, 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 guys, listen up. I want to tell you about my time in the divide. So I, boom, when I get there, I can't hear a damn thing, right? So I'm bopping through, hollering like, you're anybody there, nothing. So I'm like, this got to be one of them dreams where you talking and can't nobody hear you. So I brush it off and keep it pushing. Next thing you know, I end up back here. Me and you definitely weren't in the same place because it helped. Why? It was all dark and cold. It was like being in an ice box. Shivers on my spine and all of my fears took place in physical form in the darkness. <sighs> and my daughter was nowhere to be found. I'm sorry, Cody. That's really scary. So Solomon, where were you? When I was in the divide, I saw the past, the present, and the future all at once. The future held endless possibilities. It was like too much of my mind to take. It was like I was seeing the divine, but I'm just a man. You know, guys, somebody came in here while you were gone and he was talking a lot and then he just disappeared. What do you look like? He was brown skin and there was something up about one of his eyes. Well, he's gone now, so it doesn't matter. I think it does matter. Me too. All I know is I hate being in this box. You never want to be a jack in the box. That's him. Yo, this box is devil's red. Nah, this box is faded blue. Mysterious blue. This box is sunlight age walls. This box is a cage. A circle. The days don't end or begin. I have a circle because everything has turned around 180 degrees. My box is four corners. This box is the high pitch sound of a shriek. This box is the bubbling of pond water. Whispers in the wind. It's my daughter's laughter. This box is me crossing my arms. Me biting my nails. The slow motion of growing nowhere. It's like a pair of old shoes just walking its way into nothingness. I've heard the shrieks of the little boys running and playing around the house. I've witnessed the hardships of this family. I think I've witnessed what it is to be human. I know that Charlie likes to come and visit, and I can hear him come after me the minute he walks in the door. I know that Charlie truly cares about the things he cares about. I think the things I have witnessed make me question, is life really worth living? This world can be very chaotic at times. I am a very old piece of fabric, so you could imagine the very things I have witnessed in my lifetime. But one thing that I have witnessed that never fails is the compassion people can have for one another. It is one of the most beautiful things a human can encounter. I may be a plant, but my eyes are open. I see when my master is sleeping. I see him getting dressed for the daytime. And I see him leave for hours while I sit here and stare at the sky. What a lovely sky. It speaks to me. It tells me that I'm not alone. I think the sky is a giant cup of water. Sometimes it spills. 
I know that Solomon loves to drink water just as much as I do, but he drinks a lot more water. Sometimes Solomon and I breathe on each other, but not too close. We don't want to make it weird. It's just, you know, our thing. That was trippy. Yo, but don't you guys care about the guy who was here and then disappeared? <laughs> nah, as long as he's not eating my food sitting on my sofa. Yo, your generosity is overwhelming. Right. We could look for him next time we go into the divide. You know how to get out of here? <laughs> yeah, this kid's got moves. Yo, why didn't you tell me that? We're going to leave this place. And we're going to be in the divide. After a little while, we'll be back here. It's true. And what are you doing, the divide? I think that's up to you. I listen for the word. I look for my daughter. I think I'm going to go try and find that guy. I think he needs our help. I'm going to find myself. Good morning, everybody. We're coming on the air with breaking news. The special report. This is the New York Stock Exchange. The trading day is just beginning on Wall Street, and there are fears that the Dow will drop and drop an emergency trigger that stopped trading. People concerned about coronavirus and what that is going to mean for the broader economy. In the distance, I see a white owl, a giant white owl, and the owl places an amulet in my hands. I thank the owl for the jade necklace, and when I put it on, the owl flies away. My house in the clearing is a mansion made of obsidian and meteor. The windows, the windows are made, are made of, diamond. of diamond. And the, and the black, black hides, hides it from unwanted, unwanted guests. guests. Obviously, there's a lot of stress right now with what's going on in the world. And I don't want people to forget of all the wonderful benefits of exercise. Exercise don't is let our medicine. muscles it's become sedentary way to since we're staying You don't have to buy a lot of equipment to keep up our fitness, fitness level in your for home. better health. Um, if you it's have important to, to keep your stress level down. Some light be I hate being on lockdown like this. Lockdown is just something that never ends. Imagine by John Lennon. Rage Against the Machines. It's a lullaby. Lockdown is a nine because it spirals downwards. It's a sideways eight for infinity. It's a zero because, well, it's just a zero. Nah, it's... More like pie, because it never ends. Lockdown is the, oh my. Enough, Charlie, big, we get it. A touchy. <laughs> Sorry, man. Just feels like we've been in these boxes a lifetime. I can't remember things. Like my grandmother, she used to do this thing with her lip and her eye. As a reminder, just to watch the people I was around. You know, I can't remember the smell of the Food from the Times Square vendors. Candy peanuts, the fried Oreos, the chicken over rice. 
I don't remember how free it felt to ride my board next to a shore, breathing in the ocean air. I don't remember smiling with the sun shining on my face. Heck, I don't even remember how the ocean smells. And I always know that scent. I can't remember what it's like to actually hold a real connection with anyone. I don't remember what it feels like to go out and sit down to get something to eat or to go out to the theater and watch a movie. I have looked at every corner of this box so I can't recognize normal things anymore. There's a universe inside this mirror. And if you look close enough, you'll see the imperfections of a young man discovering a world he has yet to explore. You'll see tattoos on someone who's been through more pain than is shown. You'll see words like believe and trust, which could motivate even the most pessimistic person. There's a universe inside this mirror. And when you feel around, you feel the skin of someone who seems to enjoy being branded with ink. There's a universe inside of me. And my heart is front and center. You'll understand that my universe is one of love, empathy, and a heart that is there for others in need. But they aren't there when this heart cries and screams. There's a universe inside this stove. I see the narrow path that leads into the inferno. There's a universe inside this stove. I hear the engines cranking up. There's a universe inside this stove, and I've only tasted rice. There's a universe inside this stove. It feels familiar with aroma from a foreign land, but soul is from home. There's a universe inside of me that complements the universe outside of me in every way I could hope for. And if it doesn't sink, the universe inside adapts quicker than a focused chameleon. There is a universe inside of me. It's an aqua paradise. You'll get to eat the sweetest fruit forever and you'll never fear anything any longer because you're always safe. <sighs> There's a universe inside of me. You see many waterfalls and still crystal blue lakes. You hear the epic sound of battle opera and the food tastes like roses and honey. There is a universe inside of me. Maybe we should go back into the divide. Why? It doesn't ever get us out of here. And that's not getting me closer to my daughter. I didn't find that guy. I know, but Kibo, remember back in the beginning when I thought someone put us here? Yeah, so? What if that someone was us? You're telling me I put myself in here. I don't know. Do you box yourself in? Sometimes I box myself in by trying to change for other people. I put myself in a box so I don't have to experience the darkness outside of it. Man, I put myself in a box by quitting before I get a chance to lose. What if we're looking for the wrong thing? I mean, what did happen the last time you were in the divide? I couldn't see. I was, it's like I was scared to see my future. And then I came face to face with all of my fears. And what are those fears? An uncertain future, financial issues, a lot of things. Last time, I saw this light coming from a distance. Like if the sun was trying to peek its way over the horizon. So me being nosy and all, I make my way over there. And boom, next thing you know, I'm having the time of my life. Go food, music, smoke. Drink, people bopping and all. So I'm like, word, this is wavy. So I make my way over, do my little two step. Then I start hearing these voices. So I start searching through the crowd because the voices sounded real familiar. And boom, next thing you know, I'm staring my younger self in the face. In the divide, I remember the day of my little sister's funeral and emotions right along with it. She was only two years old. 
the whole day started as gray as can be. I stroll up to the burial and I hear my mother's terrifying cries. I'd never heard the mother's true cries until that day. It's just so sad. So I started running and running and running away from it. Till you end up here. Yeah. I just stared my younger self in the face. But when he waved me over, I kept walking. When I was in the divide, I saw a new world being born. I saw a door. I think I have to go through it. These boxes are a test. What kind of test? I'm not sure. But Kari, when you were in the divide, you were afraid of your problems. You couldn't see them. You just felt helpless. Yeah, that's how it always goes there. And then I end up back in this box. Kibo, you're dying to have a real connection, a relationship with a human being. But when you saw yourself in the divide, you just kept walking. Oh, I get it. A connection with other people always starts with yourself. Right. Charlie, you're trying to outrun something. I think you need to find out what that is. Yeah, I feel that. So let's go back in there and see what happens next and then come back here. I don't want to come back to this place. Nobody does. But we're together now. He's right. We've become a community. Even me? What about me? Am I in your community? Yeah, even you. Great. See you in the streets. Where does he keep going? Listen up. The four of us, we're going back into the divide together. We come back together. And we leave these boxes for good. Good? Here we go. They want to be woke, but they won't wake up. Still racist underneath the makeup. Cops are killing my people, and you want justice for them? Forcing us to get down and pray, but the problem is y'all think y'all are H-I-M? You don't control my people, and until you recognize, we will riot. It's time you pack your bags and get those lies about your diet. You want to be woke, but you won't wake up. You want to be woke. You want to be woke. You want to be woke, but you won't wake up. But you won't wake up. But you won't wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. You want to be woke, but you won't wake up. Emmett Till, Eric Garner, John Crawford, Michael Brown, Ezell Ford, Dante Parker, Laquan McDonald, Michelle Cusa, Romaine Brisba, Wendell Salestine, Mary Truxillo, Rakia Boyd, Kobe Dimick Heisler, Tyree King, Khalif Browder, Junior Prosper, Lamontes Jones, 
Patterson Brown, Dominic Hutchinson, Anthony Ashford, Alonzo Smith, Tyree Crawford, India Kager, Levante Biggs, Michael Lee Marshall, Jamar Clark, Richard Perkins, Philip Pinnell, Nathaniel Harris Pickett, Benny Lee Tigner, Miguel Espinal, Michael Noel, Kevin Matthews, Betty Jones, Quintonio Legrir, Keith Childress Jr., Janet Wilson, Randy Nelson, Antroni Scott, David Joseph, Callan Rockamore, Dijon Perkins, Christopher Davis, Marco Loud, Peter Gaines, Tori Robinson, Darius Robinson, Kevin Hicks, Demarcus Simmer, Amadou Diallo, Willie Tillman, Terrell Thomas, Silville Smith, Alton Sterling, Philando Castile, Terrence Crutcher, Paul O'Neill, Alteria Woods, Bobby Russ, Jordan Edwards, Aaron Bailey, Ronnell Foster, Stephen Clark, Antoine Whitfield, Victor White III, Christopher McCorvey, Reginald Doucette Jr., Dan Roy Henry Jr., Eric Reason, Karen Gaines, Keontae Spencer, Darius Tarver, Manuel Ellis, Victor Duffy Jr., Corey Jones, Alexia Christian, Brendan Glenn, Victor Manuel La Rosa, Jonathan Sanders, Freddie Gray, Joseph Mann, Salvado Ellswood, Sandra Bland, Albert Davis, Darius Stewart, Billy Ray David, Samuel DeBose, Michael Sabi, Brian Keith Day, Christian Taylor, Troy Robinson, Ashams Manley, Keith Harrison McLeod, Tanisha Anderson, Akai Gurley, Tamir Rice, Jerame Reed, Joseph Mann, Matthew Ajabade, James Powell Jr., Frank Smart, Natasha McKenna, Tony Robinson, Anthony Hill, Maya Hall, Philip White, Eric Harris, Walter Scott, William Chapman II, Michael Lorenzo Dean, Trayvon Martin, Renisha McBride, Oscar Grant, Brianna Taylor, Darian Hunt, William Green, Ahmad Arbery, Tony McDade, Jamel Floyd, George Floyd, Jacob Blake, Daniel Prude. lake and I swam across it and I got very wet and when I came to the end of the lake the person that was there was me I didn't have a dad you know I had a stepfather uh, but to have a role model, a true role model, someone who, who shows you how to be a man. Um, I didn't have that. I learned a bunch of things, don't get me wrong, um, but I learned exactly what not to do when having kids when from these from the, 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 fig, the, the father figures that were in my life. Um, being a dad for me means everything. Uh, I, and I don't even have kids. I see all these people with kids in this world and it's just like, damn, wow. Uh, you have something to live for. Um, being able to just raise something that is mine, uh, teach it and, and teach them or teach them what I didn't know when I was younger and what I wasn't able to learn and pick up. Uh, I think is the best. I want. I just.
it's a feeling that I can't explain because I don't know it. I think death is something inevitable. I think that we all have to face it. And I think that we come back, to be honest with you. Um, under what terms, I don't know. But I know energy does not die. And we are moving balls of energy, so. I seek wisdom, you know? That's something that I was always taught to, to seek wisdom, you know? Because I, th I think it had to do, one, because it was part of my name, and, you know, two, because that's what I wanted. You know, I, I, I would rather learn from somebody else's mistakes. And some people wouldn't want to do that. Some people like to learn from their own mistakes. But I would like to learn from others' mistakes so I don't make that mistake as well. That way I could live a, a better life, a prosperous life. And I, I believe that's wise. You know? I walked over to him. My younger self. He took me to, he took me and led me to where my grandparents were. So I start getting all teary eyed because, I mean, I know for a fact they're not on earth anymore. So they get to talk and they tell me how proud they are of me. But before they fade, I mean, they say something that's been sticking with me ever since. First, my grandmother, you know, she does that thing with her lip and her eyes. And I start laughing because I know what she means. Watch the people around me. Then they tell me to trust myself more. If I really trust myself, I'll be able to let people in because I know who the right ones are. I promised myself to look and embrace myself for all of my fears. I opened my eyes. I stared my demons down. I made myself calm. I faced things that I usually would avoid in my regular life, but I didn't quit. I kept on going. I ran and ran and ran. I looked for this guy and I heard his voice. I heard him say, wake up. Wake up, wake up. Guys, I woke up in the divide. I saw my little sister and I stopped running. I could see my mother's tortured face and I could feel the pain. My mother's pain, my father's pain, my own pain, but I couldn't run. So I sat down. My face was wet with tears. I walked through the door. I was in the divine nebula where the past was present and the present birthed our future. I saw the futures of all of you, my newfound friends. So you know the future. We all do. Our future lies in how we live today, right here, right now. If I were to rise today